Good morning, Trinidad and Tobago, and welcome to The Boss Report. Well, it's that time of year again, and financial results have been released fast and furiously, though not as quickly as all of the soccer releases for Carnival 2020. And today, we're taking a look at the re financial results of two stocks on the manufacturing one sector, and we're talking about Angostura Holdings Limited, as well as Whitco, for their nine-month periods and financial periods ended September 30th, 2019. So let's get straight into it and turning firstly to West Indian Tobacco Company, or Whitco. And for the nine-month period ended September 2019, the company reported earnings per share of just about $3.74 per share, which was a commendable 3.9% increase from that $3.60 reported in the prior comparable period. Driving this improvement in profitability was an increase in revenues of around 2.1%, from around $688 million to $702 million, as well as good cost management. In fact, total operating expenses decreased over the comparable periods by just around 2.4%, from 96.1 million to just about 93.8 million TT dollars. Overall profits for the period increased just around 3.9%, from that 303.28 million to 315 million. Now, the revenue story has been somewhat challenging for Whitco over the past few years, and that's been driven by substitute products in the tobacco industry or the, or the smoking, or the smoking uh, industry as well as illicit products entering the Trinidad and Tobago market. Whitco seems to have turned that around with some rebranding and repositioning of their products, as well as some negative news coming out by in some of the substitute products, in particular those vaping uh, substitute products for smokers. And we can see that being reflected to some extent in the most recent comparable periods after hitting a low a five-year low in terms of nine-month revenues of 628 million in that nine-month 2017 period. There has been a nice steady increase to 688 in that nine-month period of 2018, or a 9.6% increase, and in the most recent period, a 2.1% increase period over period. So some a nice turnaround there for Whitco on the revenue side. In terms of operating efficiency, well, Whitco continues to be a model of stability. Uh, generating fairly consistent gross operating and after-tax margins, as we can see. And that gross profit margin in that blue segment has hovered between 76 to 77 percent. Operating margins has been fairly healthy as well in that pink, pink column from between 63 to 64 percent, increasing just marginally, and profit after taxes increasing from around 43.9 percent in a nine-month period of 2017 to that 44.9 percent as we can see in the nine month period of 2019. So at the price of $102.26, Whitco is trading at a price to earnings multiple below the sector average around 20.7 times, below the sector average of around 23 and a half times, and offers a fairly attractive dividend yield of around 4.5%, which is above the sector average of 4.1%. Something that's on the minds of investors and has been for the past year, well, there was that stock split, that three for one stock split that was approved in October, back in October of 2018 or thereabouts. We still had no resolution to that in terms of the, the stock split actually being affected. So we wait with beated breath to see how that turns out. Hopefully in the near future, that will happen. At the current prices and valuations, Boss maintains a neutral rating on Whitco. Turning to Angostura Holdings Limited, and for their nine month period ended September 2019, the, the company reported earnings per share of 39 cents which was quite an impressive increase of 11.4% over the 35 cents per share reported in the prior comparable period. Now, similar to Whitco, revenue increases and cost management did help Angostura to generate this improved profitability revenues up from around 517 million to 536 million. And total operating expenses increased in just 1%, so very marginal increase from 160.5 to 162.5 million. Overall profits for the period increased from 72.4 million to 81 million, and that's the 11.9 percent increase that we see filtered through to earnings per share. Now, from a profit before taxes versus net profit margin uh, perspective, it also has been a fairly challenging time for Angus Row Holdings Limited, and we can see that their profit margins, their after-tax profit margins, would have fallen quite significantly from around 24.2 percent in that nine-month 2015 period to the nine-month 2018 period of around 14 percent. A nice recovery from that 14 to 15.1 percent in terms of their operating margins, which suggests an improvement in efficiency, would have seen their profits increase along with revenues from 102.9 to 116.8 million. 
Now at a price of $16.02, Angostura is trading at a price to innings multiple of just around 24.3 times. Again, above the sec well, slightly above the sector average of around 23.7 times. Uh, the dividend yield, not too much to shout about there, just around 1.5%, despite that increase in dividends per share below the sector average of 4.18%. So on the basis of slightly above average valuations, but tempered by an, a good move in the correct direction in terms of financial performance, BOSS maintains its neutral, neutral rating on Angostura Holdings Limited. That's it for this week's report. For more information, you can give us a call at 226-8773, email us at bossinvestment.com, or check out our website at, well, actually, in, email us at boss, invest at bossfinancial.com, and check out our website at bossinvestment.com. Have yourselves a great investing week. This has been The Boss Report. Mm -hmm.